guys, today we are going to talk about one of the most popular choices for fall color, mums. It is Jenny with Gardening with Creekside. Welcome. Today we are going to talk about the massive gorgeous colors of fall mums. Specifically I'm going to be talking about Belgian mums also known as hardy mums. And these here before me are all Belgian mums. They are hardy which means they can be a perennial. But before we get there I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Mums are like the number one choice for fall color and for very good reason. They are absolutely loaded with color. Did you know that a Belgian mum can have up to 1,000 flower buds per plant? And there's two plants in here, so that means there's 2,000 flower buds. This plant has not fully opened yet in all of its blooms and it is already making quite the statement. That is why we love our mums in the fall because they have such great flower power and they come in every color of the rainbow. So really the choices are unlimited. You can do whites and yellows and purples and oranges and reds and all other sorts of colors. So we love them because of that. Another reason that Belgian mums are fantastic is they're virtually pest free. So bugs do not like to eat our mums. So yay! We don't have to worry about that. The only maintenance that you're going to have to do with your mums at this point in the year is water them. When they've already got their flower buds set and they're starting to bloom, you no longer have to fertilize them. You simply need to water them. And we think of mums as being a cool crop. They like it cold. Actually, that is not true. They love the heat. We planted these as little plugs at Father's Day. So they have been out growing in full sun all summer long. They love the sun. So the, you really do have to keep the water on them because they do dry out quickly in that full sun, especially like here in North Carolina where we're still in the 90s in mid-September. So all you need to do is keep them watered. They do love the sun. If you have them in a shady spot, that's okay. Once they've already started blooming, that helps retain your blooms a little bit longer. Now, a question we get a ton about is, are, per, are mums perennials? And so my answer is a yes and a no. No, most of the time, because people will leave them in their pots and when a freeze hits, it gets to the roots and it kills them. Therefore, your mum in a pot is considered an annual. Technically though, Belgian mums are perennials. They are cold hardy to zones four or five, and that's really cold. Like Chicago is a zone five. So think about it, we're in North Carolina, zone seven B, we are very warm. They can be perennials. The key to making a mum a perennial is that you have got to get it in the ground ASAP. You have got to get it in the ground as soon as you see them in your garden centers, because those roots need to have time to get established and well um, acclimated to the soil and to grow before that first freeze hits. Once you have that first hard freeze, all of this is gonna, it's gonna die back and turn brown. You can then cut it off and then you're going to mulch on top of where those little stems are really well. It needs to be protected from the fluctuation of temperatures because some days it's warm, some days it's really cold, so it goes back and forth. So mulch it really well and then in the spring you will see new growth coming up and bam, you have just made your mom a perennial. So I know a ton of us love to have these moms on our front porches and in our areas. You can use them all sorts of ways. Your imagination is only limited um, by how creative you are. So get out to your local nurseries get you some Belgian mums to have lots of gorgeous color for this fall. Thanks guys, we will see you next time, bye!